What's up? What's up? Johnny Bank of 45 here. Welcome back to Cost Party Blood Drive. Yeah, we continue chapter 6. Why? Because this is the last pillar that we're gonna go and get the crystal. And then, I believe they're going to combine all of those 6 crystals and become this one core. Which later, maybe, Mistletoe will appear. Yes. That's part of a page gonna appear before you meet soon. Let's see here. But this is a very big stair. I climbed a long winding staircase that snagged its way up the walls of the tower. And I hugged those walls the whole time. The entire central area was wide open, with nothing but a rickety old guard rail between me and the very, very long wall. As I climbed higher and higher, the artist feels like a big cut to think more and more intently. Suddenly the bells all rang out louder and clearer than before with a such an unavoidable force that I was completely exposed to my track and instant, instantly came pain in pain. These days I have been hurt multiple times since arriving in the Nirvana, but this was the first time it has been so overbearing. Of course, because you had the bottom of it. Even with fingers in my ears, my ears continue to pulsate. Resonating with the incredible noise, the sound is just too all encompassing to block out. Present even when absent. I brace myself for the next hole, expecting it to be the end, but it didn't come. And though the ringing never quite left my ears, it is slowly began to abate, oh, if only slightly. Yeah, we need to go on. Yo, Shikazu, it's been a while since Ayumi saw you. It's the body of Yoshikazu Yana Gihori, in addition to being crucified. He had also a stake driven through the back of his head. Of course, this was a punishment for kill the children and the people who trapped in every host in the first game. Since such was no longer here, he has no desire to live. He died like a sort of man. Wait, is that a dog? Oh no, that's just... Yeah, I feel sorry for you. Sachiko! I could have sworn that it was the unmistakable voice of Sachiko Shinozaki. Yeah, Sachiko is being with Ayumi all the time. Because you bring the baby too. Which will cause, which maybe cause the Sachiko spirits to be with her, I guess. Yeah, but anyway, let's go. Six seconds break. That's why it's called stairs. Remember this? Yeah, we cannot go here because we have no keys. Now we have the keys, we can go up. Six seconds spring. Six seconds walk. Oh, come on, Magri chan save my Azusa chan please. Save my Azusa chan <laughs> Magri grabbed the now prima beast like Azusa by the head and pinned her down. <laughs> the bitch is you, Magari, not my Azusa chan <laughs> こいつが私よりも力が強いとか。マジ受けんですけど。ま、現世に連れ帰ったところで、これじゃうちの幹部になんてつけるわけないし。<笑> 
What happened? Uh oh, Margaret, you said something. Ayumi go to the top to unlock the last pillar. A tall shrine with a bell could be seen from the window. And from its peak, there were six columns of light stretching outward. Ayumi? Let me go. <coughs> How dare you, Magari Chan? I never forgive you for kicking Azusa Chan. I will never forgive you, Magari Chan. Masaka, uh, Magari, I, I believe you shouldn't stop her. Don't you come to her, please, for one thing. At long last, I reached the top, and that was it, the sixth pillar in all of its horrifying, horrifying glory. Welcome to Pinata Party. It looked like some bizarre growth coming down from the roof, composing entirely of long dead corpses. Of course, that's why it's called Corpse Party in the first place. By, by hitting that thing, you will get one human body of corpse. I observe it for a while again as a fluttering, fluttering, wind the insects spread up against my ear cannon. All of the horses neck had red, ceremonial looking markings emblazed on upon them. This sixth and final bit was the crown. And what a sight was! Uh, what do I do? And the sound is very intense. Look at the sky. Wait, why is that? So cute, I need so cute. Never mind, let's look at this. So this is the last one. I close my eyes and reach out to try to touch the markings on one of the corpses next. Ah, stop, don't do that. Oh, you think I scare with your side? Someone's gonna kick your ass, Magari. Yamero! Uh, I believe someone's gonna come and kick your ass. Alright, here goes. Wow! <laughs> Chan with your white umbrella. Amazing! And she's been physically living from here out of nowhere as dashed the water pillar and spritzed the mercy from Margaret's chest before she had any idea what was happening. Of course, he took that thing with the umbrella, a magnet umbrella. <laughs> Thank you, and why your face like that? Are you me? Don't tell me you just you just surprised that. Mizuto kicked the crap out of Magari from the, from the top of the tower. Akkeneda, Marutuba no Magari san yo. Mizuto look on in sick pleasure, sticking his tongue out playfully as Magari pummeled to certain group, satisfying in that turn his attention towards the final pillar. Which had just finished until they. <laughs> the face is moving! The light began to shine even brighter. I could only watch stun and squeeze as this new spectacle unfurled before me. <laughs> there was a powerful blast of wind. And then the pillar crumbled. And this not to me, the other pillars have rumbled as well. The entire school rumbled and shook beneath our feet. Wow, it's so dark! 
Why you mean well done? He just make the world go dark even more because of your actions, Ayumi. Thank you for doing the dirty work for evil for evil purpose. Suddenly the entire Nevada was black community and natural world darkness. This has the whole planet vanished only to be replaced by an empty void. I could sense that I was crouched on the ground, clattering on my forehead. I slowly raised my line of sight up, the faintest hint of a blow, catching my attention. Above me, I could see the sky. Through it was filtered, distorted and discolored as if it filtered through a red purple veil. It looked a bit like Aurora Boy and Boy Eyes. A few moments passed in relaxing the silence, only for the stillness to be broken by a sound echoing from the sky above. It was reminiscent it was of ice cracking from the surface of the lake. The scenery that lay before me was like some out of a dream. Even then, after everything I've been through, I had a tough time believing it was real. Uh, what happened? What happened is that it's the end of the world, are you me? Then there was another sound directly in front of me, I best describe as a mass of metal collapsing to the ground. I turned my head down slightly and saw what looked like a piece of light glow, be an earring white glow. This was, I knew, the crystallized power of the final pillar. I picked it up and almost immediately musical thoughts that suddenly taken from my valley over to me. あいみ。今までの決勝を全部出せ。やっと会えたの。見事。アミズタ出しをファーストワークアフターソーロングとミーハーフェイスとフェイス。オタクはいらねえ。いいから早く出して全部合わせてみろ。Wow, so beautiful! There was too much at stake for me to dwell on this. Begrudgingly, as I struck, I took the other crystals out from my pocket and fit them all together into a single object. Uh, they snapped into a fish target and with one final bright light, fused inseparably. The result was a more or less round crystal with a black sheet, reminiscent of hematite. This I would learn was called Kabbalah Dobra and it was now complete. Actually, that thing was for me, not to defeat Sachi. I don't give a shit about Sachi, by the way. <laughs> Mr. flashes me a while, it's my bad then. Aiko, you survived from the flame! <laughs> Her clothes has been burned in several spots. The skin underneath now black with ash or red with blood. And how did you survive? You got to the nurse for space? Oh, this is where after Aiko left Ayumi at the chapter 3. Remember she burning like a bitch? Spirit fire. Oh! So the more water you put, the more flammable it becomes. So that's why the mineral water that I may throw at her did no good to her at all. Wow, 
punished by just save icons from fire. Wow, a single paper save her from fire. I lean against the wall and smirk in spite of myself. <laughs> I let myself slide down the wall until I was sitting. Then I stare out the window defeated and alone. Now you will see your big sister again, which is Paul Chan. I look down at the floor and breath a deep sign. Naho Chan to Sayaka Chan. I stood and placed my hand on the infirmary door. When I opened the door, why so chill me to my call? Wait, this is not the infirmary room. This is Yoshi's office. This was not a school from a tree, this was the clinic from Yoshi's home. There was a person sitting at the desk. Her face was visible from the back, but her identity seems clear. The nurse was writing something in presumably her journal and was so focused on this stuff that she remained oblivious to, of everything else around her. Or at least she seems oblivious if she did not notice me, she didn't care, she just kept on writing. Yes, I also have food, don't worry Yoshi. あの、uh, meaning that the spell that Yoshi tried to revive her dead husband using a black magic is never an answer. We never knew that. And that's why they die. Just like that. I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, hopeless idea meaning to revive your dead friend. Of course, once you're dead, there's no reviving, there's no such thing as revival thing or what we call reincarnation in the real world as well. So once you die, you die. That's all. What's the point I'm doing all of this? Well, to help Mizuto's ambition come true. I began to shred and my voice was going hoarse. Had I made the same mistake twice? Gone after a way to undo things only to make them far, far worse. Yes, the worst is yet to come. Aiko could see how much this revelation was affecting me and bit by her lip. She seems like she finally succumbed to her own conscience. Yes, 
というか、信じていなかった。ごめんなさい。私は。Because Aiko, I believe Aiko also wants to revive Naho chan. 自分の欲望のために、あなたをここへ誘導した。いなくなった友達に会いたかったからもう一度声が聞きたかったから So that's your real motive, Aiko chan. This was like a new Aiko, bearing it all, all opposed to hardening her heart like she always had. She wanted friends, and she finally made some. Now all she wanted to do was cherish them. Tears streaming down her cheeks faster than she could react to them. She quickly gave up on wiping them away, electing instead of looking down and hide her face in her hands. Aiko san. <laughs> <laughs> okay, playtime's over. Give me the cube. I mean, give me that that stone. What was that called? Crystal. Gokuro. Yes, Ayumi, your role has done. Now you can die. Before I even realized, Mizuto had snatched the Kabbalah dogra from my hand with calculated precision. <laughs> yes, it's time to reveal the main villain. <laughs> Gokuro! Gokuro! <laughs> Mizuto's <laughs> condemnation and contempt seems to have an even greater effect on Aiko than on me. Her face was wracked with guilt and sadness. Yeah, you may well die. You just bring another apocalypse to the world. Not only in this dimension, but to the real world as well. I was started to share her expression, however, as the implications of his actions began to dawn on, dawn on me. I fell back into a sitting position on the ground. So, 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 Oh yeah, what happened to the book of shadows, by the way, in the chapter zero, it didn't mention anything what happened to the book. They just ran away from the tower when the Yoshiki estate is falling apart, I guess. At that mysterious forest place thingy. Nakushita Tata Skyneonada na No, I'm not a worthless bitch. If you say that in front of Yoshiki, he killed the crap out of you, Mr. Tok. Mr. Tony said that Nirvana Crystal to a depression in his book. Wait, is that a machine or something? Because what? It was something like a machine just. What we say? Reloading? I don't know. 
what's the term? Eh? <laughs> a sharp tone rang out and the entire area was quickly buffed in a contradictory light. Black has not yet bright as the non noon day sun. きた。きた。きた。The sky had what it looked like a giant gunshot in it with a spider where a crab projected outward from it and the gunshot was now going to a full horn gaping hole. And inside that hole and upside down view of the real world was clearly visible. It was night time so everything was a little dark but it was absolutely identical for the world we knew. And in there were small black grain like object being emitting from the floating floor. Clustering like locusts and dancing across the sky. <laughs> Through the fissure in the sky, we could see nighttime scenery from the real world. どうやらこの場所は現世から空に見えていた黒い球体の内部みたいだね。what? Wow, okay. So we basically inside the black hole that was happening outside. Wow. ってことは現実世界に天神症がすでに現れていたってことですか。そうなるね。恐ろしいことだわ。カローズで両者を隔てていた壁がこのまま壊れてしまって、死後の空間と現世が融合しちゃったら。世界がどんなことになるのか想像もつかない。あっちの金のある方の方が光ってる。行こう先生。サトシ、岸の魔魔。ええ。なあ。よし、行くぞ。Why? You looking for you? Are you me, Chan? She's up there right now. Shinozaki. Doko itchi mo tanda yo. Kusu. Shin Book of Shadows. Kono hon de nehan no chikara o eta ore wa. Sachi no chikara o mo ryouga suru. いやだね。何？ハハハハ。あだからどうだっていいんだよ。世界もサッチもくだらねえ。この本を作るために名前を動かしたんだからよ。まあ、どっちですか、マチャ？You Fucking duh! And look at their face. Oh, what you want to do now, huh? Give me a kiss. Come, I show you one kiss, and you will fall in love with me, and you give me the book, okay? I was clenching my fist so hard that my scrawny arms were quivering. Try as I might to think out a response, there were just no words for this, and all I could do was glare. なんだ。あの空の日々を見ろ。終わりの到来だ。現実世界は今ついに涅槃に侵食を許した。これで世界はじわじわと本当に詰まって死の世界となる。
。卓球した。お前がバカだったおかげで、俺の望みが叶いそうだぜ。そういう意味だ。最高にイケてるシドメが見たと言ったところか。これで俺は俺は,俺は<笑>あなたの望みって何なの復讐に決まってんだろ。Well, we guys much, of course. All you want was a revenge all along. Mr. Toast slowly turned around, revealing a startling, cold, and expressionless face. Yet, even if his features had no depth, his eyes shone with an almost cartoonish malevolence. He had quite literally become an embodiment of pure evil. From a spot in the real world that was clearly visible to us, though, through the fissure in the sky, a large black monolog like pillar suddenly sprawled out of the ground. エンティティウォールだほらお前の生息のは誰だ俺だよインパルトボーイジェスライダーなでエンティティウォールフォーヤゴーラは死なずだ。の責務から解放してやるってんだろ。ねえ、力をコントロールする。ブックオブシャドウの力を継承するの。まるくばでもお前ら死のざっけでもない。バカな妹のために簡単に全てを捨てて命も貸し出しやがったんだからな。
my dear glass creature in pain. Every negative emotion came flooding through me at once. I want to punch on this man. I want to wring his neck. I want him to die. お前のせいで世界の破滅が早まったんだ。せいぜい自分の罪を悔いてしね。It's not your fault. Always trust Yoshiki. All those deaths were on me. All the suffering, the pain, the fear. It was all caused by me. Masaki. Inoue no doko ni okutte yaru yo. Shindage! Uh oh, he took a knife. Hayumi-chan! Do something, Aiko! Nigero! Shizuki! Nice, Yoshiki! Savior is here, my friend. Yeah, Yoshiki, it's time for you to take revenge on this stupid boy named Mizuto. ハナレロ。こいつは狂ってる。言ってくれるじゃねえか。え？見たことない。パンピー。何？だらけ。お前。I am not future wife, I am him. Are you his future husband, Yoshiki Kishinuma? Yumeta Kishinuma, I'm not you. Ekara, you are far away. Some of you are old, but I am not. I have done some bad things, but I am still with you. I am your senpai. I am your senpai. Don't say that, you mean you are you are born for a reason. We are born for a reason. Sachiko, you finally come to surface yourself to show us some magical power. I tried to scream those words, but my words were so odd was that they came out almost as a squeak. I crunched down and buried my face in my hands at this point. And in doing so, I failed to notice the sudden appearance of none other than Sachiko, red dress and all. <laughs> Ajaiko saw Sachiko? Shiro-san, <laughs> よくなれてした願いがよ。なんだって。踏みにじられなきゃいけねえんだ。騙されるほうじゃねえ。騙す方が悪いに決まってんだよ。それなら何とでも言ってやるぞ。お前は何も悪くねえ。ああ、よしき
Nice, Satoshi. You protect Ayumi. You help me. No, me, Chan Jealous. Temega. Mochida Satoshi. Satoshi, you shouldn't be here, Satoshi. You should go save your Emoto, which is called Yuka chan. In that moment. Ooh! The entire spatial violin moving every which way beneath our feet. And this is a massive, virtually indescribable object floating into existence behind us. Why is that blue thingy? <laughs> The seventh pillar, the seventh pillar of knowledge. I thought we have only six pillars. Ha 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 ha! I was able to react with the power of Book of the Shadows. What? Yuka-chan, the power of the Shadows. Why are you holding her hand? You want to pet her hand? I just realized that he used all my team push on Satoshi as well. Mizuto, are you pain? Where did you learn that jitsu? Oh, no. This is the first time of the game. It's a big deal. 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 Satoshi, now's your chance. Take the knife down there and stab him. Stab his back. Stomach. I believe something is inside. Are you Stomach? There was a light em emanating from my stomach, but as soon as I got a glimpse of it, it disappeared. Yes. Adeni Gense to Nehan no kabe o kowasu to suru. Kono tenjin shougo to na. Wait, Mizuto, how did you know who are Niwa? Watashi,知ってるの。当然だろう。有名な天才だ。お前は医療も超自然学も技術において全体の水準を底上げした人間。What? Mochida and Nakashima and Kishinoma all turned their heads at once to look at Kwon, just slightly a gap. The three of them had no, not, had no knowledge of any of this, so all they could do was stare in disbelief. Naga, some sign of the day, your father and your mother were all dead. This time, stop! So much for that! I don't know if I can find the core of the core, but I don't know if I can find the core of the core. That's it. The Shinsei Book of Shadows is complete. Where are you going? Miss Kwon looked down at her ever after stores, but the spirit meters she attached to them still wasn't showing a full charge. No. What's wrong, Grimo? Good boy. Good boy. What do I do? Ah, uh, shit! I was think I hesitated for a moment. Thought whether I should try to stop Mr. Operator's linear hand to and my friends. The fire was that. That was the most desperate cry I yet heard from Aiko. Finally, you call her One chan, or One san. I did not quite hear that. You just push her like a book. 
It's just as Miss Cole screaming, a giant hell should be spawned right before our eyes on the front. It was an enormous mouth. He made a beeline straight for Aiko and passed right through her body. <laughs> there is a big fish. Something not unlikely black smoke, smoke coil around here a moment. It rolled like a dinosaur, twisted his body to end up from there. Flew over to the gallery and exit the scene. The only thing it left behind was Aiko's body without a head. Aiko's dead! She remained upright for a split second and then tumbled lifelessly over the railing and into the pits. As a long kid, the entire school began to shake violently. So violently that not a single one of us could keep our balance. <coughs> oh, Mr. Toto tried to destroy, destroy the school. If the school go down, they're all gonna die, of course. No, Mick! This was well beyond any other earthquake we have ever experienced at Heavenly Force to date. Oh, Yoshiki, you just woke up. The shake eventually died down, but things look a lot different when it did. The sky above us was now blood red with certain sessions here and there bursting in black flame. Oh, just now, Mizuto, you just left like that. What the freak? Of course, cannot. My stone cannot do anything. I was now over crying my eyes out as this conversation unfolded. Of course, Aiko chan, not Aiko chan, I mean, knew <laughs> Kuo sensei saw that there is a Sachiko behind her. Miss Kuo looked over at me, however, and saw something else a girl in the red dress standing directly behind me, Sachiko. I didn't say anything. Yeah. You must listen. You need to survive. I objected strongly for obvious reasons, but I knew she was right at least about the possession. I could sense such code behind me. I could see her now too, but of everyone else present, Miss Kwa was the only one I didn't want who could. Yeah, this <laughs> if you stay with all of us, we are going to die. And why you touch? Come on, Sensei's rest, Ayumi. You're also a pervert. Yosuke is looking at right now. ギビシーコと言うけれどその涙にもし本当に責任を感じているのならあなたは生き延びてこの世の先を見なきゃいけないわそして守るこれ生きる道があるのにしを選ぶのはただの諦め Sachiko, please bring her to the real world. 
I was absolutely inconsolable, sol inconsolable, but Miss Kwon just smiled. She stood behind me and patted Sachiko on the head. Sachiko responsible for so much pain and torment who now looked for all the world like a pure innocent lost little girl. Reacting to this new stimulus, Sachiko closed one eye and turned her head toward Miss Kwon, a satisfied expression on her face. I had no conscious desire to go along with this, yet it seems I was, whether I like it or not, everything around me began glowing white and my body was lifting off the ground. Thank you, Kwon Sensei. Bye, you cannot take Kishinoma with you this time. She really, she really was so much like Miss Yui. Below me, I could see Mochida shielding Nakashima from the falling debris while staring at my rapidly ascending body. Kishinoma had stood back up by now and was watching me as well. Wait, why did why did she do this scream? Yoshiki's name. You are bitch, are you me? In an instant, the tabulous painters of Mochida, Nakashima, Kishima, and Miss Cross all came to a close as the four of them were distinctly and unmistakably crushed before my eyes. <coughs> wow, that's just messed up. That is just messed up. My vision ran, my memories jumbled. And then, there was just the sky, the sky that hung above the real world, above our world. The black orb was there, and it was swelling up bigger and bigger, almost like a fetus rapidly gesturing, gesturing to them. It quickly grew too big to be contained and burst open. Strands of black energy shot out in all directions, and the entirety, entirety of the night sky was dark and earring red dish black. The Nirvana had now broken free of its bonds, and it wastes no time pulling the real world into its embrace. So that's the end of the chapter. Chapter 6, Book of Shadows. So, the choices doesn't matter in this point, it's just the dialogue. Either different dialogue, I guess. Either you choose to stop Mizuto or to save, to see Yoshiki. Yeah, we don't know. But stay, this is a good chapter for the next one. What will happen next one? Will Ayumi give up? Or she go on with life? See you in the next episode. Adios e famosa.